Hey guys, we're downstairs in the basement at Dana's house looking at doing a air conditioner and furnace replacement. Um, what we'll do here is pull this furnace out. I'm going to turn everything around 180 degrees so the furnace faces this direction. Return drop will get replaced at 65 and a half inches. We'll do a 25 by, um, 25 by 8 return drop. New 5 inch media cabinet will get installed. Rebuild up into the existing supply ductwork with a um, new plenum if we do the air conditioner. If we don't, we'll just put our new furnace in and reuse the existing coil space at 17 and a quarter inches right there. <clears throat> um, drain lines run down to a floor drain right over here in front of the unit. Electrical goes up above the joist. There's not a switch out on it though, um, so we might want to put a switch on the new furnace. We'll run our new two inch flue pipe up into the joist and we'll go outside somewhere over here on the side of the house. You can see the refrigerant lines right there. Running from inside to outside. We'll just replace them if we do a new, new air conditioner. Um, gas line has been cut right here from a gas leak so we're going to have to rebuild it from that point, that little um, cap and nipple back to the new system all this gas line was extremely leaky um, so we disconnected it all um there's pretty much everything down here in the basement it looks like we just did a water heater not too long ago it is inside of a cellar right here so we can push that exhaust pipe out right near where the air conditioner popped out of the wall. <clears throat> if we run a new, put a new air conditioner down, we'll do a new pad, new disconnect box, new electrical with flushing pressure test, everything. That's it.